Hello friends, today I want to show you uh, options for arterial vascular anatomy when performing laparoscopic cholecystectomy with criteria critical review of safety. I will show two cases of uh, non-standard vascular anatomy. Case number one, anomaly of the left hepatic artery discharge or additional artery of the fourth uh, B segment of the liver. The patient is a lady who has had several bouts of gallstone disease. The revision relieved a pronounced and soldering process in the gallbladder region. Uh, so we performed adgesiolysis and began to isolate the gallbladder structures. We begin the dissection of fibrous and adipose tissue along the posterior, anterior and lateral circumferences of the gallbladder. When performing a cholecystectomy, I always use a hook. I think the hook is most convenient and safe tool for this operation. Continuing the dissection along the circumferences of the gallbladder neck, a window appears in the tissue and two structures that go into the gallbladder. Uh, on this time, everything is typical. It looks like we've isolated the gallbladder duct and uh, in uh, uh, this situation I use a fin dissector to create an even large window and uh, we also see another structure most likely on uh, archery of the gallbladder and uh, I always whenever possible remove all fibrous tissue and uh, expose these structures. I further go around the semicircles of the gallbladder. As a result of this section, we see uh, two structures that go into the gallbladder. This is duct and artery. However, I am confused by the structures along the back wall of the gallbladder, uh, which, uh, as it seems to me, departs from the artery and goes to the gate of the liver. In such cases, I always dissect such structures by tracing their topography and I continue to uh, dissect fatty and fibrous tissue around these structures and the back wall of the gallbladder. I use the dissector again uh, to remove the fibrous tissue from the neck of the gallbladder and further I see that a vessel clearly departs from the artery of the gallbladder which runs parallel to the posterior wall of the gallbladder. I'm doing a wider lateral mobilization of the gallbladder and uh, you can see that the artery in the gate is of a sufficiently large diameter.
Here we see typical pictures, gallbladder duct and gallbladder artery. I never asked to clip structures until I am convinced that my actions are safe because this anatomical error is highly variable and um, mistakes are very costly for both the patient and the surgeon. Therefore, while it is convenient for me, I continue to expose the gallbladder and uh, trace the topography of the vessel. When this dissection has exhausted itself, I clip the duct of the gallbladder and uh, I clip uh, the gallbladder artery. Of course, I clip the uh, gallbladder artery after leaving uh, the artery that goes to the gate of uh, uh, liver. After clipping, I dividing the duct and artery of the gallbladder and continue to separate the gallbladder uh, from the liver tracing the artery at the helium. Despite the fact that with the help of the harmonic scissors I do many more complex operations, as I said, when I perform a cholecystectomy, <laughs> there is no better instrument than a hook for me. I remove adipose and fibrous tissue over the artery in small portions and trying to see where is the vessels enters and what is supplies blood. And at this stage we see that at this level the vessel enters at the fourth B segment of the liver. During the control we see that on artery enters of first B segment of the liver, which departs from the artery of the gallbladder, this artery supplies uh, uh, this segment. Uh, it is hard for me to say whether the blood supply in this segment will suffer it is uh, damaged or ligated. However, the safety of the patient and your nerves are above all. The second case is additional artery of a first B segment of the liver. The operation was performed on a gentleman with gallbladder polyposis. We again see a typical picture. Two structures are highlighted which uh, go to the gallbladder. However, I am confused by the tubular structure which is located at the back wall of the gallbladder. And I also try to dissect adipose and fibrous tissue for better visualization. And you can see I take uh, the tissue only in the small portions.
I use the dissector again to better isolate all structures and understand their topography. As a result of working with dissector, I see that uh, there is an additional artery that departs from the artery of the gallbladder and goes to the hilus of the liver. You can see what in this case the diameter of the vessel uh, is smaller than in the first case. However, as I said, I consider it necessary to always trace the topography of such vessels. Thus, I simultaneously carry out the mobilization of the gallbladder from the liver. Again, I uh, said in, in my opinion the hook is most ergonomic and safe instrument for this operation. I also use relatively low coagulation rates. Uh, it's no more than 15 watts. As you can see, we have almost completely dissected uh, most of the back wall of the gallbladder. As you can see, we have amid the criteria of critical review of safety. Next, I clip the gallbladder duct and the gallbladder artery above the exit of the additional artery and divided the structures. We see that the additional artery goes up and parallel to the gallbladder uh, and I continue the section further.
I practically removed the bladder, but uh, so far we cannot see where the artery enters the liver. With the help of the bipolar, I coagulate the bed of the bladder to prevent bile leakage in the postoperative period. Also, use the bipolar dissector, I separate the fundus of the bladder from its bed. We see the artery of the gallbladder and the additional artery of the first B segment of the liver. In final review, we see how high the artery enters into the uh, first B segment of the liver.